Whoa! What? Balrog Gothmog! My best friend! You can't defeat Balrog as long as the Dark Gate stays intact. You can't last long. Captain, the Dark Door won't close as long as I'm still That's alive cool, as a dude. medium. Fighting my copy. Your true self. Let's go. The Guardian of Justice. Guardian, we're ready. Guardian, yes, yes, the tank of justice, dudes. Let's go. So, this is the warrior class in Guardians of Claudia. Uh, we went through our exaltation and we chose Guardian. Guardian's one of the most versatile secondary classes in the game. And there's three different builds for it. So, there's one that's a full tank build, there's one that's an off tank build, and there's one that's a full DPS build. So, the first one I'm going to show you guys is the full tank build. The full tank build, you're going to start off by getting five points in Shield Bash, Whirlwind, Faith Leap and Master's Grip. You're also gonna max out these three to give you max tankiness. And you're gonna put one point in Faith Leap's uh, sub skill to give you the stun. Once you unlock your Guardian, you're gonna put 10 points in Master's Grip, 10 points in Guardian Trial, and 10 points in Unbreakable. And you're gonna max their two respective sub skills to increase your tankiness even more based off the other skill stuff. Damage reduction, damage reflect, and the sustain here. After that, you're gonna max out the sub skill for stunning from Faith Leap for your CC. Um, and then once you're done that, you'll start putting points into all stats and HP percentage until they're maxed. That's gonna give you your best tank guardian. If you have any questions about any of these builds, you can leave them in the comments below or you can just join the Discord and you can ask me there. No worries. So this is the off tank build. <coughs> it's half tank, half damage. That's why it's called half half. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your four basic skills. They're gonna be maxed, right? But not right away. What you're going to do is you're going to have five points in uh, Master's Grip, five points in Faith Leap, and you're going to put five points in the Master's Grip sub skill and one point to get your CC. And then you're going to max cleave and max cleave plus. Once you unlock Guardian, you're going to put 10 points in Master's Grip and max its sub skill. And then you're going to max again Unbreakable, Guardian Trial, and Iron Will. Then you're going to head back over here and max these two to 10. You can you can go back and forth, increasing tankiness and damage, or you can do it all at once. <clears throat> it's totally up to you. All right. Sorry about that. We're just getting pulled in for Beast Rampage. OK, so that is the second one. The final one is DPS right here. OK. This one is probably going to be the most used out of all of the different uh, 
out of all the different ones. Uh, just because it can be used in every situation and still do good. Okay? So what you're going to do for DPS is you're going to ignore. Yep. You're going to ignore all of this. Yep. So, <clears throat> you're going to put 10 points in Master's Grip. You're going to put 10 points in Cleave. You're going to max Master's Grip Plus. You're going to max Cleave Plus. Oh, baby. Then, you're going to head over here, right? Now, you have that sh uh, the Master's Grip, right? So, your only source here of tankiness for the DPS is right here. The Damage Grip. Or, the Master's Grip. So, you max that. And you put max points right here. Once you've done that, or sorry, once you've maxed this, you unlock obviously Roar of Valor too. Roar of Valor, like I was saying to you guys before, um, it's the it's the skill that we use for our DPS. It's pretty much like the, the Raging Warrior. So we, we max that, and then this boosts allies' morale. You're most likely going to be fighting. It, it increases your morale too, and your damage done as well so there it is guys that's the dps setup right there now that you have all of the dps tree done and maxed out now you can start adding a little bit of tankiness to your uh to your dps build so what you're gonna do is damage reflect because you're gonna be battling a lot so you want the damage reflect right away maxed uh, now, this, you only want to get this to 5 to unlock the damage reflect percentage increase. Okay? Boom. So we get that to 5. We got 5 more points. We're going to max out our Iron Will. And we're going to put that la And then now we're going to go back here and max this. So this is the DPS skill tree. You have Master's Grip, Cleave, Master's Grip 2 and Roar of Valor. And then you have all the damage increase and everything like that. It's really unorthodox and weird. And it leaves you with three skills. But let me tell you. The damage that comes out of this is really nice. So there's one other variant here for the DPS that I'm going to show you guys other than this. Uh, that's kind of nice as well. So for, for the variant DPS build for the Guardian, the other one, that's not just three skills. It actually gives you four skills. You're going to have uh, Faith Leap, Master's Grip, Cleave, and Roar of Valor. So the first thing you're going to do is get all of them to 5. Once you have all of them at 5, okay, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to uh, get... Um, Master's Grip plus to 5 and Cleave plus to 5. So now that you have your good sustain and your lifesteal and everything, which is it's sustain, now that you have your sustain, you're going to add to your DPS. It's the first time, right? So we're going to max our skills. And at this point, you're going to put at least one point into your sub skill. At some point, you do that. Just one. So that you have your stun. You can do that at any time, really. Whenever you want. As long as you have at least one for stun. One for stun, you know? Um, we're also going to max now Roar of Valor. So we have that maxed. And our Faith Leap, Cleave, and uh, Master's Grip maxed. It's all maxed. 
Now, that's almost it for the damage output. But there's one more increase, and that's right here. So you're going to max this next. Now that you have... You're pretty much at your max potential for damage increase with these skills here. Except for this. Which, it doesn't give you a, a huge increase. So now, we're going to head back over here for BR. And we're going to max these two things. It's going to uh, feed off of our Master's Grip Sustainability. And give us uh, more damage reduction. And then we're going to increase the damage reduction again. Done. Now, last but not least, your last 10 points, you're going to put into Damage Reflect. Because you're DPS, you're going in. You're going in, you're pulling everybody in, and you're fighting. So you want your Damage Reflect next. Maxed out. And that's that. Now, I suggest with the rest of your points, what you do is you put five here and your next five here to stack that reflect even more. Then you max this and then you max your stun length. Once that's done, you just go up. Boom, 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 boom. Bam, 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 bam. Ba -ra -ba -ba -ba. And then you move on to your pet. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lion. And that concludes the Guardian build. I hope you enjoy the video. Check the rest of the videos on YouTube. We've got a rogue build video out. And we're going to be coming out with Oracle and the other three classes in the future as well. Cheers!